Hi everyone, I'm Tasha Glassman with Mitten Honey Bookkeeping and welcome to one of our mini uh, trainings. They're about five to 10 minutes long and we try to go over some tips and tricks to help you grow your business. So I've been getting this question a lot and I think it goes along with productivity and time management, those types of things. So I thought I would give it an answer. Um, I have two wonderful children and I homeschool both of them while running my bookkeeping business. I also do it with my husband gone for more than half the year. And a lot of people ask me how I handle it. Well, I will be honest, sometimes I, it's not pretty. Okay, I will be 100% honest. There are nights I cry myself to sleep because nothing is getting done, or at least that's how it feels. Um, and I'm sure everybody can, you know, has been there with me. Um, so it's, it's a fine line. What I will say on that topic is one, I do need to make very good use of all of my time. Um, so I've brought this up several times, but I do have a timer on my desk and I do use that. I set it for two hours, that's my work time. And then I go upstairs, I get the kids lunch um, and then we do schoolwork. And I even set the timer for their schoolwork, which honestly has made them more productive on it as well. And they're actually enjoying it more because they know that the activities that they don't like to do will be over at some point in time. Um, so it's been really handy to do that. Um, the other thing I will say on the subject is find a support group. I have a bookkeepers group that I'm a part of. So it's a bunch of bookkeeping business owners and we all sit there and support each other. And we've all been through the same thing, whether it's because you're homeschooling your kids with your husband gone or because your mom is sick and you're juggling um, 50,000 clients. <laughs> It doesn't matter. We all have different stressors in our life and we all go through those things um, and those times in our lives where we're just super busy. So work on staying productive when you need to. Work on finding a group of people that you can talk to about it when it does become overwhelming and when um, things just seem dismal because you're going to want to, to have that. Um, remember to take breaks for yourself. Like I said, I don't usually work in the evenings anymore. I've started taking that time for myself. And honestly, that has been the biggest tip right there is taking some time to myself, especially when my husband is gone. I take lots of, you know, a little bit extra time to myself. I put the kids to bed and I don't touch work. I don't touch work. I don't touch homeschool stuff. I don't touch any of my volunteer hours, um, for church. <laughs> It sounded like maybe I was in prison or something. No, volunteers for church. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. You know, I record these live because I laugh at myself and some of the things that come out of my mouth. I like to say I'm really good at numbers, not always the words, but you know what I mean. But I don't, I don't touch any of that. I just enjoy something. Sometimes it's mind numbing TV. Sometimes it's a video game. Sometimes it's a puzzle. Um, don't always do a workout. I do like to preach workouts. When I do my workout is when my kids do their workouts. So we work out as a family because we do it as PE credits as well. For homeschooling, we like to do a lot of yoga. We have an exercise bike that my husband really likes to use and we'll use that upon occasion. Um, for the younger kiddo, we have this, it's like a big dice thing and we roll it and it tells you what to do on it like run like a cheetah or something like that and that's honestly been really fun so I like to sneak things in like that also because it's family time on top of getting something done for myself um so anytime you can double dip double dip is kind of my point in that the other thing I do especially with my during my daughter's school work is I'll bring up my laptop it's just a tiny like surface pro thing um, and when she has her free work time, like a test or something where she needs to do it on her own and I'm not, I don't need to help. I have a really hard time letting go of that. Like I want to tell her she's doing something wrong if she's doing it wrong rather than just letting it be. So what I've done is I will bring it up and that's when I write most of my blog posts and things is just waiting for my daughter to finish a test or um, some coloring thing that she has to do or something along those lines. Um, that's, yeah. So again, it's double dipping because I'm still there and I can still answer questions because it's not something like this, like a video or I'm not with a client or anything along those lines. It's a blog post. I can stop writing at any time, right? Um, but I'm still being productive while being with my daughter. 
Um, and it's actually, it's worked really well because then I'm not hovering over her and I can focus on something else, but I am right there to answer her question. And it's really easy to just put it away when she does need me for other parts of her schoolwork. So double dipping, that's really how I do it. Double dipping, taking a break and being very productive when I do need to. The last thing, I do have a few employees a few employees and every year I'm hiring more anytime it's a task that I think I can hand over to somebody else I do um as soon as I can afford it and as soon as I could get it handed over I, I hand it over uh it's still making me money it's still doing things there's a way to set that up and we can maybe go through that in another mini training but that's how I do it that's how I make my life work how I juggle everything um is by hiring a lot of it out. And it can be hiring out pieces of my business. Like I have a virtual assistant. I have other bookkeepers that I work with. And I like having the other bookkeepers for multiple reasons. One, they can do the day-to-day -day tasks. And two, we're all working together as a team to make sure there's fewer mistakes. And so you actually do get a whole team of bookkeepers working on your books with us. And that's kind of awesome that I can offer that. And uh, it's really cool. Um, but I also hire out things like mowing my lawn. I have the neighbor kid across the road do it for me because it makes his day. It saves me a ton of time and headache because I hate mowing the lawn. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not that person. So that's okay. I don't have to be that person because it makes him happy. And uh, he's just, he's a kid and he makes a few extra dollars and is happy as can possibly be. So it was awesome. <laughs> that worked out really well. So you can hire things. I also have a babysitter who comes over every now and then. Um, I pay her a little extra when I leave the house, but if I'm here and just need some quiet time to work without the kids, she'll come over for that too. And that's been amazing. And I can just use her kind of as needed. So if I'm doing a particularly busy onboarding sort of a situation, which I don't necessarily have employees for yet <laughs> um then I will have her come over and give me some uninterrupted time and she'll even do some of the schoolwork with the kids I try not to do that too often because schoolwork is kind of me and my kids is time it gives us one-on-one -on -one time and it's really kind of awesome and I love doing that but I do have the option so it's things like that hiring that out last but definitely not least is prioritizing everything so I read this somewhere I think it was in like a mom blog or something where as moms even if you're not a business owner we're constantly juggling balls and our job is to make sure that the glass ones don't fall so you have glass balls and you have plastic balls I make sure all those glass balls stay up in the air but I don't worry about the plastic balls the plastic balls I hand over to other people or I let them fall and what I mean by that is I might not get to making one of these videos today okay, that kind of sucks, but I will get to it another day. I might not get that blog post finished the day that I wanted to, but I'll get it done two days later and it will still help out a business owner. Um, those are my plastic balls. The glass balls are my kids, their well-being, their schoolwork, um, my husband and his time, and client work and making sure all of my clients are happy and cared for and that their books are being done properly. So I keep those glass balls and I work on them. And then when I have time, I will pick up a plastic ball and double it. Make sense? So those are my tips and tricks for, I mean, honestly, all together life. But if you ever wondered how I do it all, it's not always gracefully, but it does all get done in some shape, way, or form. So that's how I do it. Hopefully that was helpful and inspiring for you to be able to do something like that in your life. Take on an extra activity that you've always wanted to or just tackle your everyday life that seems stressful. Um, let those plastic balls drop and it won't be a big deal. Keep those glass ones in the air and you'll be all right. Um, hope that helps and I will see you in the next training. Bye.